everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about some Encanto clips that have recently been released. As per usual, because of copyright I can't show them to you, but I will put the links in the description. The first clip is the dialogue leading into the song The Family Magrigal. It starts with Mirabelle saying good morning to her abuelo's painting who has passed away. She then slides down the stairs which magically transform into a ramp as she goes down. We then cut to the outside of the Magrigal house and we see three children running towards it. After this Mirabelle walks through the house as the windows open around her. The following shot is of some plates rolling out of the cabinet onto the table Beauty and the Beast style and if you look closely you can see that the plates have the characters names on them. Mirabelle then grabs the plates awkwardly and begins to set the table while the children ask her about Antonio's gift ceremony. After that question the children ask what her gift is and she deflects by saying she can't just talk about herself as she is only part of the amazing Magrigals. The children then beg her to talk about the Magrigals and Mirabelle concedes that the kids are not going to leave her alone until she tells them. She then begins to sing the opening number. Firstly, Mirabelle does the drawers and floors sequence that we saw in the official trailer. She then says doors and her family's doors light up around her. After this she yells let's go in front of Abuela's door. Mirabelle then runs around the house knocking on the doors of her cousins Camillo and Dolores to wake them up. She does a little dance in front of Dolores' door and it is super cute. Mirabelle then goes to her older sister Isabella's door which is decorated with pink, purple and white flowers. She opens up the door and the room is also constructed consumed by these same flowers. Isabella then wakes up Disney princess style tossing her hair as a beam of light appears. I especially love her nightgown and the roses on the corners of her pillow. We have seen more of her room in various promos for the film and I especially love the floating bed. I'm also excited to see more of her with her rainbow dress. I think this outfit change could be a symbol of her finally learning to let go of perfection as her outfit is no longer matching. Louisa is then seen working out in front of her room. She is lifting weights while the tiles on the floor act as a treadmill. Mirabelle then goes to her grandmother's door again and we see pictures of her children and grandchildren receiving their magical gifts on their fifth birthday. We see photos of her children Peppa, Bruno and Julieta and her grandchildren Camillo, Louisa and Isabella. Mirabelle then introduces her grandmother with a very enthusiastic dance move. In contrast, her grandmother seems very poised and serious. After this, we see five of her grandchildren, Louisa, Isabella, Mirabelle, Camillo and Dolores, dancing around on the balcony. Following this, we see the tee shot that was in the first teaser. Finally, Mirabelle then sings in front of the front door before she heads into the chorus of the song that I covered in a previous video. The second clip appears to take place after Mirabelle finishes singing the family Magrigal. Her grandmother asks her what she is doing and she looks very judgmental. This look reflects their complicated relationship which the creative team have spoke about. They have stated that when the movie starts they are very close, but when Mirabelle turns five and doesn't receive a gift she doesn't know how to deal with the situation. A further blow to Mirabelle's self-esteem occurs when her grandmother tells her to take a low profile at her cousin Antonio's gift ceremony for fear of her giftlessness somehow interfering with him receiving his. There have also been several references of the grandmother having a mysterious past and not making the best choices, so we might find out some interesting things in flashbacks. Back to the scene, Mirabelle explains that the children were asking about the family and one of the children says that Mirabelle was about to tell them about her super awesome gift. Dolores then chimes in and says Mirabelle didn't get one and the grandmother looks really embarrassed by this. I really love Adassa's voice work for Dolores. She is really soft spoken and sweet and completely unaware of how sassy her comment is. And one interesting fact about her is that she is in love with Isabella's soon to be fiance Mariano and I'm really excited to watch this love triangle play out. The children are very surprised Mirabelle doesn't have a gift and then they are interrupted by the donkey delivery guy. He gives Mirabelle the special as she is the only Magrigal kid with no gift. This scene we previously saw in the teaser but now Mirabelle's reaction is different. Instead of going for a comedic uh thanks, she now says thanks softly and looks devastated. I really like this change as you can really feel Mirabelle's pain. The man then goes on to say that the last gift ceremony was a bummer because it was Mirabelle's and it did not work. This also confirms that Camillo is older than Mirabelle by a few months or so. 
Cecilia then says, if I was you, I'd be really sad in a condescending way. Mirabel says that she is not sad and even though she has no gift, she is just as special as the rest of the family. We then cut to the shot we saw in the teaser of the family getting the house ready for the gift ceremony and Cecilia says that maybe her gift is being in denial. The third scene takes place shortly after the previous clip. Mirabel is entering the house while everyone is preparing for Antonio's gift receiving ceremony. She keeps running into people and is generally in the way. Dolores is asked if she can hear if anyone is coming late, which I think is a very good use of her powers. The house then creates a staircase for the ceremony all by itself, which is pretty cool. Abuela then says that she needs another Jose to make Antonio's door sign straight, and then Camillo transforms into Jose. Everything in the house would be hung so straight because of Camillo. Luisa is then told that the piano goes upstairs. She drops her barrels and runs away, knocking into Mirabel. A promo showed that their father, Augustine, plays the piano, which is a fun little detail. Peppa is then seen throwing a fit that her baby's night is not perfect, which causes a gust of wind. Her husband, Felix, tells her to stop as she is ruining the flowers. On cue, Isabella appears with a spotlight on her, saying, Did someone say flowers? She then redecorates the room with flowers while swinging on a vine. Felix says that she is their angel and she tells them not to clap even though she is clearly enjoying it. She then presents Peppa with a bouquet of flowers which appears to calm her down. Isabella then flicks her hair in Mirabelle's face causing her to be covered in flowers and Isabella looks super annoyed that Mirabelle is there. She then gives Mirabelle some sisterly advice that if she didn't try so hard, she wouldn't be in the way. Isabella is being super mean here and it is clear that these sisters do not get along. Mirabelle then says that this is called helping and that she isn't in the way while walking into some flowers. The fourth clip involves Louisa doing some chores around the town. She lives and moves the church all by herself and the priest doesn't even bother to get off it. Louisa is then asked to reroute the river, which is a pretty big request, but she says she will do it. A man then tells her that the donkeys got out again and she proceeds to hoist a bunch of them onto her shoulders. Mirabelle then tries to get her attention and ends up falling over the wall. She manages to get up, however, and tells Louisa that she has to tell her about the magic, what is going on, and what she is hiding. Louisa seems very focused on her chores and tells Mirabelle that she isn't hiding anything. She just has a lot of chores and that Mirabelle should go home. A man then tells Louisa that his house is leaning to the left, and before he can ask her to fix it, she kicks it into place. Mirabelle then says that Dolores told her that Louise's eye was twitching, an exchange that we saw in another clip. In Mirabelle's opinion, that proves that something is making Louisa nervous. Louisa then tells her to move, otherwise she is going to drop a donkey, while she tosses another one up into the air to add to her pile. Mirabelle keeps pressing the issue, however, until Louisa explodes, saying that nothing is wrong. She then apologizes, surprised by her outburst, and she kind of reminds me of Scorpio from She-Ra in this moment. I presume that this scene will lead into the Surface Pressure song. We have received some awesome visuals from this song already, so I'm really excited to see the whole thing. The fifth clip involves Bruno. I know we're not supposed to talk about Bruno, but I'm going to break the rules. Mirabel says to help her as she is about to fall whilst in Bruno's room. Bruno then grabs her hand and says that she is very sweaty. Bruno then unfortunately falls and then Mirabel has to grab him. Bruno's rat then scares her, causing her to let go of him and then Bruno falls to the ground. For a moment you think he is dead or injured, but then he pops up from the mist. He waves his hand, revealing that the mist actually hid the fact that the floor was only a short distance down. I love how awkward Bruno seems, it makes him really lovable. The sixth clip involves Mirabelle's father, Augustine. Mirabelle has just told her father that she broke into Bruno's room and collected the green pieces containing his vision, and Augustine looks overwhelmed. He tells Mirabelle that they should say nothing, as Abuela wants the night to be perfect, and I think the night in question is Mariano coming over for dinner. This happens just after the We Don't Talk About Bruno song. He says to act normal and that no one has to know, but it is revealed that Dolores is listening in and she knows. Seriously, these people need to write things down if they want to keep them a secret. I also want to quickly point out some interesting info about Agustin. He is from Bogota, which is the capital of Colombia, and because of this he dresses more formally in a three-piece suit and is a fish out of water. He also has symbols of his daughters on his outfit because he loves them so much. He has a flower from Isabella on his lapel and his odd socks represent Louisa and Mirabelle. Finally today, Disney released the beginning of We Don't Talk About Bruno, which is my favourite song in the movie. Mirabelle is asking about Bruno and her uncle Felix is keen to share, but her aunt Pepper wants him to shut up. 
The song begins with Peppa singing We Don't Talk About Bruno, but she eventually does, telling the story of her wedding while dancing with Felix. Then there is a flashback scene and Pepper and Felix are in their wedding gear. We see Bruno walking in and giving an evil grin and I think that this is clearly an exaggeration of what actually happened. Felix is super into the song and gives a da da proving that this is an overly dramatic version of the story. They continue with the song dancing together and their chemistry is off the charts. The last new bit involves them talking about the rain that Bruno predicted. The rain becomes a reality and it eventually turns into a hurricane. Six wedding guests then fly away with the heavy winds and then Pepper and Felix begin the section that I covered in a previous video. Anyway, that is all for today. Like this video if you liked it and please subscribe. It would mean so much to me. Bye now and have a magical day.